All right, guys, one day out. Can't believe it, crazy, honestly. But yeah, we're here, we just woke up, we're getting meal one in. So we destroyed the burger, all that stuff, you guys saw that. This morning we weighed in around uh, 276 after using the bathroom a bunch of times, which is great, like Kent, couldn't be happy with that if you, if you guys compete, you know? So yeah, I mean, we know we gotta get my weight up to 280 tomorrow morning, that's the goal. So protein's gonna be a little bit lower today so that we can fit more carbs in. But we're happy with the look, we're feeling that a little bit, upper body's coming along, legs still have quite a bit to go. So we're gonna be pushing it pretty hard. So the plan right now, eat this first meal and then we're gonna be hitting the gym for like a super light pump workout. Just move everything around, see what kind of pump we get. Then we can kind of judge the rest of the day off of that. But yeah, so we have 500 grams of rice, two whole eggs, uh, one scoop of protein powder with one scoop of greens, glutamine, and creatine. Creatine's in this one because it's pre-workout, um, of course. And then we have a blueberry muffin. Uh, so another 360 calories here. Deliciousness. Well, I had one of these yesterday. I think I complained about it in one of the videos. <laughs> but uh, but I warmed it up and it kind of made it weird because it's already like so moist and stuff like that. But uh, so this one we're just gonna have straight out of the box and hopefully it's a little better because it does look delicious. So that's why we're giving it a second chance. But anyways, between that, we got some starbs left over from yesterday, <laughs> but uh, that's how we fucking roll when we're on the road. And uh, whatever gets the job done, get some caffeine in the system before we train. So yeah, we'll probably show you a few clips from the pump workout and then uh, we'll be back for post-workout meal. Got to head to Abbotsford, lots to do today. We'll take you along. show pump up looks like. yesterday so we'll probably just hit like some lights at the laterals one thing for buys one thing for tries and then hallelujah
laterals. Uh, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good, guys, like in the sense of probably like enough. Uh, so a couple things for arms. So we're gonna hit a few poses and then go back and get more food in us. Okay, guys, we are getting packed up, ready to leave the Airbnb and uh, head over to Abbotsford soon. Uh, but first things first, we gotta get this post-workout meal in. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm having. Just getting some H2O and a good old Jack Factory shaker. Gotta stay hydrated. Lots of water going in today. Probably be lowering that later on as the day goes on, just depending on fullness and how I'm feeling. Uh, but as we eat, I keep feeling better and better, but the food's going through quick. Like I'll eat, feel really good for like an hour, and then feel my legs get tired again, stuff like that. So. Anywho, here is the second meal of the day. So we have 450 grams of rice. We're going lower protein today uh, just to make room for more carbs. So only four ounces of chicken in there, 15 mils of olive oil, and we're doing two Rice Krispies with this one. So yeah, busy day. Um, still trying to stay on top of work as much as I can with the clients. Trying not to get behind on that. But once we get in the hotel and get settled, uh, we'll be able to catch up on all that stuff. So right now it's more about just making sure we get everything to the hotel, get settled up there. Registration at 5 p.m., 10 at 6, and then we'll kind of just be chilling and making a plan going into Saturday. So anyways, guys, first bite. Good old chicken, rice, and olive oil. Pretty tasty. But this is what we're here for. Okay, guys, on the road to Abbotsford, uh, show you the scenery. So absolutely beautiful out here, guys. This isn't even like remotely close to how awesome it's been on this drive. There's like mountains and stuff everywhere. So if I uh, remember, I'll try to show you guys. But uh, yeah, so we're having meal number three on the road. So this one, we have 500 grams of rice. We have four ounces of chicken, 30 grams of peanut butter, uh, pink salt, and cinnamon. Hope you guys saw that. Looking a little kind of weird. I'll show you one more time. Yeah, but um, so yeah, gonna crush this, and then we're gonna be getting to the hotel and stuff, and uh, just trying to figure out the whole situation, get settled. Um, so we'll show you the hotel room, meal four, and then after that we got registration and tanning, and then we'll be smashing two or three more meals before bed tonight. So stay tuned. Okay, guys, I think we got some half decent scenery coming up, maybe. Okay guys, finally at the hotel. I gotta get this meal in real quick and then we'll show you the room and other stuff. So I'm gonna show you what I'm having. So nothing fancy again, just four ounces of chicken breast, 600 grams of rice in this meal, and 30 mils of olive oil with some salt. So I gotta get this in because I'm already late on it and we will show you guys uh, what we're doing later and more meals. <laughs> All right guys, this is registration for the pro show. So everyone's here, just a mix of athletes, uh, like all divisions. I think the show has pretty much every division except for like 212 bodybuilding. So yeah, we'll take you guys through it and see how it goes. Yeah, let's do it. Cool. Gotcha, David. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Alright guys, so super quick uh, registration. We got out of there way earlier than we thought. So my tan is until 6. It's only 5.10 now, but we're going to try to get over, see if we can get it done early. I'd way rather be back at the hotel to eat my next meal and chill out. Uh, but if not, uh, it's no big deal. Uh, we'll hang around at the, this hotel that we're going to now for the tan and eat the meal. So yeah, just keep you guys updated. Abbotsford, nice little town. Pretty small, honestly, for like a to have a pro bodybuilding show, it's kind of weird in a way, but it's also very convenient because it's not like a super busy city. You know, the hotels are nice, you know, you get a big room, you get a kitchen, all that stuff, so super convenient. But uh, yeah, things are going really smoothly. Hope they keep going that way.